everybody and welcome back to Gal. Yes, it is Adobe update season. The spring is here and NAB is next week. And that means that Adobe has just released a whole bunch of new improvements and updates across all their Creative Cloud apps. So I'm going to be doing a series going into depth on how these different updates work because when Adobe releases releases them, it's kind of like just like a list of the different updates. They don't really go in depth. So I hope that this will show you how to use some of the updates. So this video is showing you how to use the content aware fill in After Effects. And basically what this enables you to do, let's say you're shooting a scene um, in a landscape and a tourist is walking in the shot and you want to remove them. Well, you can use the content aware fill to take those people out as if they weren't there at all. Or let's say you're doing an interview and you have an object in the background that you forgot was there and you're like, crap, I don't want to reshoot it. You don't have the budget to reshoot it, but you can use content aware fill to do this easily inside of After Effects. So now I've played with this just a little bit and so far it's worked pretty good. So we're really going to test this out together to really test the limits and see, you know, what type of shots it works well with and other shots where it might be more difficult to use. And lastly, before we jump in, be sure to let me know what you want to learn next in the next episode on the update series for this spring. For example, there's updates to essential graphics, uh, uh, the essential sound panel for sound editing. Um, there's a lot of different effects um, that I'll put in the description box below as well as performance updates. So let me know what you guys want to learn and I'll stop talking and let's jump in. All right, you guys, I'm in the newest version of After Effects. Make sure that you guys update because the update is available if you want to try this out and follow along. Make sure to go up to After Effects, About After Effects, and make sure that you're in version 16.1, which is the latest version. So in this particular shot, I'm going to remove the Apple logo from the back of this laptop because let's say you didn't have permission to use it or you didn't want to feature Apple's brand in this particular shot. So all we have to do here is select the video clip from our composition that I have open and then make sure you go up to the pen tool or hit G on your keyboard. And then we're just going to draw a simple square mask around this Apple logo. Just make sure it's right around the apple as close as possible, just like this. And then from the mask that was created down here, make sure to select subtract because we want to subtract that from the scene. Next, because this is not a moving shot, just a steady shot here, we don't have to worry about tracking this mask. So now from content aware fill, this is where I can go in and make sure I'm using the correct fill method. So in this case, we want to be using a surface because this is a surface on the back of the laptop. And then we want to use the work area, which is just the area in between this blue handle start and the work area and blue handle here. Then generate fill layer. And what this will do is it will start to analyze the clip and then it will start to render out a new fill in the place of this mask. So you can see a new fill layer was created and you can start to see the magic happen. So it's rendering frame by frame. It's almost done. And shortly I will show you that if you had no idea that we created a mask, you probably wouldn't have even known that the Apple logo was there. So to preview what it was like before, just change this back to none and then turn off the fill layer and you will see the before and after, which is pretty cool. Now this was a simple shot. Let's move on to a shot where there's people. So in this shot, it's a moving shot, it's a tracking shot and the people are moving. So what I'm going to do here is just draw a mask around these people and remove them. So to do that, same method, just select the video clip here now let's zoom in. I like to just grab the magnifying zoom tool and let's just lasso and select them. Then go to the pen tool and let's just draw a simple mask. It doesn't have to be complex. Just draw it like so. That looks good. We don't have to do like a very detailed mask. It's very simple to do. Then from the mask drop down, choose subtract. And the next step is just to make sure that your fill method this time is not surface, but object. 
and also we want to choose work area. But before we hit generate fill layer, we have to track this rectangle, which means we want to make sure that it's completely covering the people as they're walking. So to do that, just expand the mask and click on the toggle animation next to mask path. Now, as I scrub forward, I will look to see if I start to see the people there. See how the people pop out? So just before that, I want to select the mask path, then use my selection tool, and I'm just going to move this mask over very simply, like so. And same thing, I'm just gonna move forward until I start to see somebody's leg. Oh, there it is. And then I'm going to move this forward. And there we go. Keep doing it. <laughs> it's not the most fun process, but it's pretty simple to do. I always like to do it manually like this because I have more control. So once again, there's a little bit there. So just before that, I'm going to move this over. And there we go. Let's go ahead and fit it. And then all we have to do is generate fill layer. And once again, it will start to analyze the clip and it will replace the people. So I have to say that this did a pretty good job. If I didn't know that there were people in the scene, I probably would not even know that there's a mask there. So this is pretty cool work. One last shot that I wanna show you, um, but I won't actually create the mask and go over it because it's the exact same method that I showed you here. And so in this shot, there were actually people here. So if I turn off our fill layer, you can see that there are people walking. So what I did, let me turn the fill back on, is I created mask here and they're more circular mask. I use the pen tool and I just, if you click and hold, you can create like rounded curves. So that's what I did. I just created like little, little shapes around these people and then I tracked them just like in this shot. And then I was able to just generate this fill layer to make them disappear. And I think it did a pretty good job. If I zoom in, it's more noticeable and I would probably have to make a more detailed mask here, but you can see that these shadows from the edge of the wall are a little bit more extended here because there is a mask. But to the first observer, it's not that noticeable. So I would just play around with the content aware fill until you start to nail it down a little bit. Again, this is my first time using it and already I've had a couple successful shots. So I think this could be useful for you guys if you're shooting interviews and there's an object in the scene that you need to get rid of, you could use this tool for that. And I'm sure there's tons of other use cases where you would find this useful. So play around with it, have fun. Let me know if you guys have any questions. So content aware fill, good, bad, some improvement, not sure. Let me know what you guys think in a comment below. And also let me know what you guys want me to cover next with the Adobe updates. There's essential graphics, updates, essential sound stuff, GPU performance. Let me know what you're interested in me covering. Um, I love doing this stuff. The NAB stuff is really cool for me to cover, so just let me know. And um, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you guys. Oh yeah, I. Um, released a new wedding title pack on my store. So I make templates each month and I design them specifically for my patrons. So if you guys want some free templates each month, you should join my Patreon community. Um, but I do sell the templates separately in my store if you just wanna do a one-off purchase. So check it out, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of it. I had a lot of fun with the designs and um, they were designed in Premiere Pro. I didn't use After Effects, so I made all of the shapes custom so you can change the color of all the lines. And yeah, I just hope you guys find it useful. So that's it. And I will see you guys next time for the next update video. Bye.